that I wanted to say And the angry words that came from nowhere without a warning That stole the moment and sent me Standing there in the doorway crying And me wondering if I'd ever be back I didn't come here to leave you I didn't come here to lose I didn't come here believing I would ever be away <laughs> She said, oh, my baby is here. Let's get it. Mm. Bowser, you can now secure the plan B. Where do we draw? Plan B? Is that a surprise? Yeah, baby. The kind of surprise you love. That's me. Mm. 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 Dave? Thomas, you said you wanted to see me. Dave the mannerless one. I suppose you have not learned on how to knock a someone's dog for virginity on him. Oh, you. you lost the job and now you're gone. What a rough terrain. Let's say it's the survival of the powerful. You bastard. And as for you. You have outlived your usefulness. Now, get out of my room. Last time, I'll get you for this. I promise you. Even if it's the last thing I will do, I promise you'll pay for it. <laughs> From your mother and brother here. About your sudden change of character ever since this year, grandfather's illness. Oh, really? Did they say what I did to them? <sighs> Thomas, we have not come to split heads. Neither are we here to apportion blames. We have come to make peace between you and your brother. Thomas, your uncles are talking to you. You should at least appreciate that fact. Instead of puffing cigarette smoke on their faces. Hey, woman, you don't presume to tell me what to do in my house. I did not invite them here. Thomas, don't you dare talk to mom in that manner or else. Or oh, what? David, or oh, what? What will happen? What will you do to Calm me? Down, calm, calm, down, down, yes. calm down, please. Calm down, eh? Calm down, please. Go and sit down. Nonsense. <sighs> Um, Thomas, my son, we learned that uh, you relieved your brother of his job in your grandfather's company. Um, we would like to know why. Simple. I got tired of charity cases on my hand. What? Thomas, you call me a charity case? I, David Thompson, a charity case, Thomas. Yes, if you're not a charity case, then what are you? What else? You're mad. Me? David, you are sick. Hey, 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 Listen, hey, you know what I'm saying? That we are brothers, eh? I would have just dealt with you right here, right now. Hey. Don't call me your brother because I'm not your brother. Okay? You and your sister are invaders who have come to pilot what does not belong to you. 
Calm down, children, please. Calm down. Calm down, please. Eh, please, get back here, sit, uh, Thomas. Please, let us settle this matter amicably, please. There's nothing to settle. There's, who invited you here? Why are you here in the first place? You do not have the right to meddle into a family matter. You do not have any idea what is happening there. Anyway, I don't have time to waste with jobless fools. And you, woman, next time you are calling a meeting and you want me to be there, make sure that you have an agenda for the meeting before my appearance. If not, anyway, I have work to take care of. Thomas. Thomas. No, how can you do No, 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 no. no. I can't believe Tommy will deny our ownership with him just because of wealth. It's so unfair. I can't believe this. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable to me. I mean, I, I never believed Tom would go this far. It's amazing. I mean, for Tom to actually go... Excuse me. Uh, hello? Dave. Who was that? What is it? Come on, talk to me. What is it? was Dr. Cliff. What did he say? Grandpa is dead. What? No! 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 You can't be! No! Mommy! Hello? Hello? Hello, Doctor? No! 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 tried all we could but we lost him. I'm sorry. Well I guess it's the will of God. We must all die someday. Yeah, please take it easy, madam. Mm -hmm. Please take heart. He was in so much pain. Uh, yes, I believe uh, it is better this way. Uh, uh, Mr. Day, uh, did you come with your brother? I, I tried to Doctor, you couldn't make it. In that case, uh, you have to follow me to my office. Because there are certain things we need to talk about. Doctor, I hope there's no problem. Uh, uh, Mr. Dave, if I may ask, do you have any idea about a nurse that was hired to look after your grandfather? Not personally. Why? Well, you see, the result of the test that was run on the chief is out. And there is a huge percentage of nicotine in his bloodstream. Nicotine? Yeah. How is that possible? Well, that is exactly what I want to find out too. And I believe the only person that is in a better position to say, to say that is not Jojo because she was directly in charge of your grandfather's case. Wait a minute, doctor. Are you trying to say that nurse Jojo must have administered nicotine to grandpa? That she could be responsible for his death? You know, he was murdered? At this point, you cannot rule out anything. And that's why it's imperative that we see Nurse Georgia to ask her some few questions. Well, unfortunately, she she has disappeared into the thin air. You know, but one thing I do know is that I must get to the bottom of this even if it's the last thing I do. It's okay, but you must be very, very careful. Thank you. It's okay.
Oh, uh, listen, girl, I like enjoying myself. Mm -hmm. So, tell me, why did you come with uh, Rebecca? I told you that by coming, you should come with Rebecca. What happened, girl? Oh, it's Oh, kiss the back. Oh, kiss the back. Oh, kiss the back. Thomas. Why are we to be today, okay? Dr. Cliff and I have been calling you all day. Well, I'm busy. You can see I'm a busy man. So tell me, what was it that you wanted to let me know? Well, is grandfather's death important enough? Well, well, well. So, finally it has happened, huh? You mean that old fool has finally gone kapo? Go! That's good news! I feel like celebrating. What do I do now? Yeah, Zero! Zero, come here! He's finally gone kaput? Go! Zero, please. Zero. Listen, I just got a piece of information that gladdens my heart. And I feel like celebrating. Now, go to the fridge, get me a bottle of champagne for this beautiful ladies, then a bottle of red wine for me. Tell me the fox has arrived. Sure, man. I need to for the boys. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, please. Go. Paint the town blue. Tell me the fox has finally arrived. Hey, Uche. That's me, bro. <laughs> it's gold to be rich. <laughs> man, this is the newest millionaire in town. <laughs> How low you have sunk. I find it very difficult to recognize you as the son I carried nine months in my womb. Oh, shut up, woman. Shut up! Listen, I am not in the mood for your homely right now, please. Just shut the fuck up. Brad Thomas, how dare you talk to mother like that? Tell me, how else am I supposed to talk to a half a mother? <laughs> David, you hit me? I will hit you again and again if you don't shut down your filthy mouth. Listen, you can insult me, you can insult Angela, but you dare not open that your mouth to insult mom. Do you understand me? So, you raise this filthy heart to hit me. What a drama! A bastard son rising up in the defense of a holy mother. Are you listening? I will take this sign of indiscretion. No. But the next time you raise this filthy heart towards my face, I swear to God, I'll crush you. It's a promise. Now, get out of my sight before I change my mind. Oh, ah. well. Yeah, bro, you know, I got home sick. You know what they say, no place like home. Yeah, yeah. No, where are you up to? No, I'm thinking let's just go somewhere, you know, have some drinks, 
relax and you know do some hot and sex. Sam, I'm sorry I can't go with you. Why? You see, my grandpa just died. Shit! And I'm stuck in between doing last minute things for him, you know, for the burial. So I'm sorry. The old man Thompson, dead? Yes, he passed on two days back. Man, that must be tough on you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Do you know what? Let me just give you my address, you know? Maybe you come around, let's just talk as an hour. Okay. Okay? Alright, that, that would be nice. Okay. hasn't been the sweetest, Sam. Come off it, Dave. Not with all that money the old man left behind. Sam, I've come to realize that sometimes money doesn't make a better life. Rather, it could destroy it. Dave, you sound grief. I hope all is well. On the contrary, Sam. Everything seems to have fallen apart. People whom you seem to love suddenly turn out to be strangers. I don't understand. What seems to be the problem? My brother Thomas. He has turned himself into one unrecognizable stranger. I'm missing. See that again. Wait, I thought your father had a younger brother. Uncle Raymond? Yes, 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 yes. yes. What about him? Uncle Raymond traveled to America ten years ago to pursue his studies. And ever since, no one has heard from him. Damn. Damn, such a mess situation. What are you going to do now? I will do nothing until Grandpa is buried. And then I hope his will will be read. That's the only thing that will solve all these problems. That's a risky situation you have to I feel for you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Huh? All will be okay. I don't have anything to say to you, woman. What is it that you want to say to me? Look, I don't have time. I have an appointment to catch, okay? Thomas, it's your mother talking. I'm aware. What has gone wrong? What have we done that you cannot forgive? What have we done that you cannot find it in your heart to forgive? Your grandfather is dead. This is the time we need to stick to one another. We need to comfort one another, Thomas. My son, whatever it is, please forgive. If not for anything else, for your dead father. Hey, I don't ever want to hear you mention my father's name. Do you hear me? Have you no shame, woman? You are so despicable. I regret you ever giving birth to me in the first place. And I regret it. 
for your information. Don't ever call me your son again. this only me lawyers are here. Your presence is needed. My presence is needed. For what? For the receiving and reading of Grandpa's will. Or oh, weren't you bargaining on Grandpa leaving a will? <laughs> Sorry, madam. Have you told Mr. Thompson that we're here? Dave, dear, didn't you tell your brother that Grandpa's lawyers are here? I told him as soon as they came in. Maybe I'll go and call him myself. We are waiting for you. Sweet, what was that you just vomited? Are you talking to me? Come here. Are you all right? Are you out of your mind? That's enough, Thomas. Didn't your brother tell you that these gentlemen are waiting for you? Yeah, I'm aware they were waiting. And I mean, uh, they would have gathered their things and left when they realized I wasn't coming if they were intelligent. That's enough, Thomas Thompson. I didn't bring you up to be this rude. Now I want you to apologize to this gentleman right now. Listen, woman. I don't presume you telling me what to do in my house. Thomas, I will not have you insult mom again. Jesus. What did you call me? I called you an idiot. You, you are insulting me! An idiot! You are okay. you? insulting me in my house! Please, please, okay. please, 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 there's no need for that show of shit. Uh, Mr. Thompson, now that we are here, let us go ahead with the issue at hand. If I may ask, what is the issue at hand? Um, the reading of Chief Agent Thompson's will, of course. You, um, Mr. What is that a code? Barrister Steven. Go. Barrister Steven, I want to inform you that I am not down with this funny document that you're carrying here because I know that my grandfather was not in his right senses when you coerced him. All of you on that duress to prepare this way. That is a bloody lie and you know it. Grandpa had his faculties well intact when that will was prepared. Listen, that will will be read. It will not only be read, but you, Thomas, must abide by its provisions. Anyway, gentlemen, I will not be insulted in my house by this, um, what do I call you? Anyway, as you can see, I am already dressed for the outdoors. I have business to attend. Good day, gentlemen. Thomas, come back here. Thomas, come back here and stop being a coward. Listen, that one was red, bro. Come back. Well, Mrs. Thompson, and Mr. Dave, I'm sorry we have to leave. You call on us when you are ready. Our numbers are with you. It's getting too much for Thomas. Who? He doesn't have to go and start disgracing us like that now. What's this now? It's enough, children. It's okay. Let us just sit and watch where all this will take Thomas. Isn't it obvious? I mean, it's so obvious that Tom wants everything Grandpa ever labored for to himself. 
It's about time we call Uncle Raymond in America before Thomas gets out of hand. You have a point there. Thomas. Thomas, this has to stop. This whole rubbish has to stop. Who Grandpa ever labored for to the extent that we, your family members, actually live as beggars in our own house? Hey, bunch of correction. There you go, Rock. I have been found. The only house, this house, belongs to me. My grandfather left this house for me. It is our house and property. And I demand what is rightfully mine, which is my own share of grandpa's estate. Stop deluding yourself. The sooner you accept the fact that you do not belong here, the better for you. And for your information, the only family member that I know is Raymond, my father's brother, who is in far away America. Thankful to God, maybe he's dead or he's lost something. That is the only member of this family that I know. What in the blazing hell does that mean? If I run the risk of repeating myself again. I'll tell you. You and your sister do not belong here. I am the heir apparent, the only success, and the only legitimate owner of this empire, and the only living descendant of late Chief Odi Thompson. That's me. you and I begin to ask myself if you could be driven by so much greed to deny your own blood what stops you from being driven by this same greed to go as far as murder to achieve your selfish aim what murder what are you talking about where's nurse Jojo what has that got to do with anything well I don't know but what I do know is I promise you, I'll get to the root of this all. I should go. Get out! Yes. 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 
The last straw. I've taken as much as I can take from David. Can you imagine David raising a finger at me? Jesus Christ! Can you imagine? He will learn. He will learn the hard way. I will teach him how to bite a finger that feeds him. Yes, I will teach him the hard way. Take those things out. This is the height. That's the end. I don't want to see anybody in this compound. Talk to me, what's going on? No, 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 I've known him for a long time, you know, since the university. Is he not going to object to this invasion? Oh, no, he won't. No, he said we should stay at his boys' quarters until we're ready to go. Besides, he's not in town. Well, it's a nice place he has here. Yes. Mom, please go in and have a rest. Um, Angela, do the unpacking. Let me go get us something to eat. Do you have enough money? Are you sure? Are you sure? I said, no, you're not here for me. You're not seeing you. Oh, don't worry. I'm back now. Okay. Mm -hmm. sir. No problem. Uh, where's everybody? All of them come out. Nobody now. Let me give. And the host is not here? Nobody is here. Ah. Oga, okay. my money. Uh -huh. Aha. Okay.
boy. I go. Oh, my God. <laughs> What happened? We had all taken you for dead. Why didn't you call us? It never bothered. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. Very sorry. It was that I was swept up by events. Before I realized what was happening, the time has flown. Well, <laughs> it's one thing with your scholars abroad. It's always like that. Oh, don't tell me that it's a woman that loved you into forgetting your country. Oh, come on. Come on, that Toby. <laughs> you know I'm, I can do it. So, how you doing? You're looking good. <laughs> Come on, I came in here. There was nobody. Uh, why is everybody? Ah, by the way, uh, what, what's my old man? Everywhere. I'm sorry. Oh, there's no problem. Grab by stay. I don't know. I don't know how this. Idea. I never knew. We we never knew where you were. We would have breached you. Oh my god. I come to think that I was not there. I was not there to watch my father throw his last breath. I I, I would have been around. I would have been coming home. But I made a great mistake. Oh my God, I was thinking it would have been always there for me. Hey, what has happened has happened, okay? Um, there's no more crying over spilled milk. It was his time to go. So we did. So stop eating up yourself and um, let, move on with your life. Will my father ever forgive me? Does it matter? What is the use of the forgiveness of the dead? Listen, life must go on. We have to move into the next stage of life. What about Auntie Rose? Angela and Ted, where are they? Oh, they are. They're beautiful. They're okay. See, they were struck badly at the news of Grandpa's death. It was devastating, so I had to arrange to send them abroad. They're in London right now. You sent them to London? Exactly. Thank you so much. Um, um, make yourself comfortable. Whatever you want, call me. You shall be provided. Okay? I'm just going to freshen up then. Come back for us to discuss in detail. not enough. You ushered him in my sitting room. He was relaxing. You gave him my drink. My own drink that I bought with my money. I teach your girl with money, but I make her for the Shut up. Shut up. Hey? I want to tell you. Do you know how much you want to see Do you know? Come here. You are fired. And before you leave this compound, you're going to pay for a red wine. Yes, sir. Can you imagine? You gave my red wine to someone I'm not even sure that knows the amount of the wine, the value. And he was relaxing in my sitting room. I was drinking. Eh? Can you imagine the nonsense you have just done? He, he came back with nothing? How many years in the US? Do you think I run a charity organization here? Any thoughts that are just watching? Anyhow, you, you offer him? You. Stupidity. So, so. 
Dev, I don't know. I don't know. Since you left, she has not spoken a word to me. I think she's getting worse. It's all right. I've already called the taxi. Let's get to the hospital. Yes. Okay. So, your sister had an acute malaria and a type of facial malaria and got dried up blood. So, she needs some pints of blood. Oh, doctor, take mine. I can surely donate. Yeah, we, we've run the test, but the bloods are not compatible. Yeah. So, what is going to happen to her now, doctor? Uh, since the account has been closed by Thomas Thompson, we need at least 45,000 now to carry out the test and treatment. on someone's privacy. Look, Thomas, I'm not here for trouble. Okay. Tell me. What are you here for? What can I do for you? charity organization here. This company donated money for charity. If you were here last year, maybe you would have gotten even more than what you're asking for right now. Thomas, are you mad? What is wrong with you? I just saw you give a girl 50,000 naira, but for you to give me a man for 5,000 naira to save your sister's life, you don't want to? Unfortunately, I don't have any sister called Angela. Not, I would have done something. Trust me. What's wrong with you? What have we done to you? I mean, which one of us wronged you to warrant such hatred from you, Thomas? Thomas, look at me. It's I, David, your brother, that's talking to you now. Have you forgotten how we used to be in the past? We were so happy. We shared ideas together. But when everything is not a you want to want. What you want. David, you are not my brother. And Angela is not my sister either. The only thing that we have in common is that slut of a woman we call mother. Look. Thomas. If you want to deny myself and Angela being members of your family, you can do that without insulting me. Then why do you keep on carrying on with that stupid lie you made up? But is it true? What do you mean is it true? I also tried to say that Maxwell Thompson is not my father. Don't ask me. Ask your mother. Because it is only a woman that knows the father of her children. Maybe when you dig deep, you get to find out maybe you share the same blood with Angela, that's why you love her so much. Maybe may God forgive you. Don't bother. 
for the past two weeks. Really? Wait a second. When did you come back from London? I never traveled to London. But Tommy told me he sent you guys to London after our father's burial. Uncle Raymond, Tom relieved me of my job and threw us out of the house. Only for him to turn around to tell you that he sent us to London? Threw you out of the house? Why? Uncle Raymond, it's a long story. Right now, I need 45,000 naira because Angela is sick at the hospital and she needs blood. The doctor says I should get the money within the next four hours. Angela is sick. That's what I need now. You okay, will drop out at the bank, okay? Just pull it up there. Let's just go. There's no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Threw you out of the house? Um, doctor, uh, yes, uh, this yes, yes, the money. The cashier refused to take the money from me. I'm sorry, you came too late, Dave. What? 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 do you mean you get late? Doctor, 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 this is this is the money. This is the money. You, you said I should stay four hours. I, 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 I should bring the money four hours. And this is four hours. Uh, no, 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 doctor. You, you can't tell me that's not fair. It's not fair. What do you mean? What do you mean? I should come down and tell you not fair. It's not fair. Don't do something now. I swear to God I never knew all this. Tommy told me he sent all of you to London. I never knew he threw all of you away. He threw you out of the house and as if it has gotten so greedy. I never knew. Raymond, how could you have known? How could you have known? You were not around. The thing that pains me most is that I saw Thomas give a girl 50,000 naira. Mm. But for him to give me a mere 45,000 naira to save Angela's life, he refused. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas. Thomas, I will kill you. I will make you pay for Angela's death. Calm down, Dave. Calm down. Don't let this make you to do what you're not supposed to do. Please calm down. You're telling me to calm down. How can I calm down when the man, the bastard responsible for my sister's death is out there making merry? Please. <laughs> Dave, don't go! Dave. I just lost a daughter. I don't want to lose it, so please.
Mom. Yes, my son. I want to ask you something, and I want to know the truth. What is it? The day I went to see Thomas to give me money for Angela's treatment, and he refused. He gave one of his reasons as being that I and Angela are not really his blood relatives. And that the man I believe to be my father actually died before I and Angela were born. So mom, I need to know the truth. Was Maxwell Thompson my true father? With the way you're fidgeting, it could be true. Because I can't believe a true brother of mine would be this cold hearted. David. Please, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so, so. Sorry. Is it true? Oh, God. Dave, please don't ask me. I can't talk. I don't want to hurt you, please. Well, it's too late for that. So please get on with it and tell me who is my father. It all started a month after the death of my husband, Maxwell, Thomas's father whom I had loved so much and could not still believe had died. I was in my room crying when Chief Thompson, Maxwell's father, came in. For how long are you going to continue like this? How long are you going to keep mourning, Maxwell? Till eternity? It's been a whole month since he died. I thought by now you should be trying to get your life together again. How can I go on? Where do I start? Death has cheated me. Death has taken away the only light I see. Stop, 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 stop. Don't go on so. Maxwell is dead. Yes. But life must go on. Besides, I am always here for you. I will provide everything for you. All you need to do is ask. Chief, I hope you're not suggesting what I think you're suggesting. What if I am? I'm your son's wife for crying out loud. Correction. You are my late son's wife. Besides, you're a woman, and I'm a man like every other man who knows beauty when he sees it. You're a beautiful woman, Rose. Hmm? Just give in to me, and I will make sure you do not regret it. God forbid. Did you hear what you just took with me? God forbid that I should do such a despicable thing. Chief, you should be ashamed of yourself for saying that. Well, we'll see. Should you change your mind? You know where to find me. straw was the day Tommy fell sick and needed to be flown abroad for treatment. I went to my father-in-law and he laughed in my face. He, 
he he told me that the life of my son is in my hands that if i want him to leave i should agree to his proposals what was i to do They are going to send him back if he doesn't pay. And so, what does that have to do with me? Am I his father? You are his grandfather, my late husband's father. It's naturally your responsibility to take care of us now that he's dead. I'm sorry if I disappoint you. I refuse to take on the button my son left behind. But, but Chief, sir, you know my husband didn't have money when he was alive. I know. So I went to work in money to pay the school fees and every other thing. Just succumb to the naturality of my proposal to you, and all will be fine. You will see. I'm going to the office. Chief, please help me. of Chief A.J. Thompson, the father of my late husband, the grandfather of my first son, became the father of my two other children. for you. I thought something had happened to you. Mom, as you can see, I'm fine. Your food has gotten cold. I'm not hungry. Oh, 
David, please, my son. Please, you are all I have now. Do not condemn me for a situation I have no control over. You are all I have now. So please, find no, me you are. I know you did what any woman who loved her child would do. So I forgive you. You do? Of course I do. Thank you. Thank you, my son. Thank you. What's your favorite meal? Let's go inside so that you can eat. I'm serious, I'm not hungry. Please. Even if it's a little. Raymond, I know what I did was wrong. But I didn't have any option. Auntie Rose, I cannot place any judgment on you. You just did what you felt was good for your son. So I can't do it. Mom, it's quite unfortunate. Quite unfair to see that the one person you sold your dignity for actually is the same person who hates you. I feel like squeezing the life out of you. Dave, take it easy. You need to understand your brother. Thomas is so blinded by anger and the feeling of betrayal. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Well, be it as, as it may, I think we just have to try and rescue our father's companies from his hand. Yes, he is just a nephew. He, he, he is a grandson for that, for that matter. He doesn't have any legal right over our father's properties. He doesn't. So what do we do? Well, I just have to tell him that now I am ready to take over our father's companies. Simple. Uncle Raymond, it's not as easy as you make it seem. You see, the Thomas you used to know is not the same. He is now as dangerous as a rattlesnake. If we begin to suspect he has a hand in my father's death. David! Well, whatever you do, just be lenient with him. Remember that he's your flesh. Yes, Tom. It's been two weeks now that I came into the country, and I think it's a uh, rather high time for me to take things at heart. I'm sorry I didn't quite get you. What things do you want to take in hand? Everything, everything. Our father's uh, estate, the company, and to put things in order and to change some things and reorganize some things. Um, I think you've mapped up so many things to do. I mean, what time would you have to execute these things before heading back to the state? No, I've decided that I wouldn't be traveling back to the United States. I wouldn't want my father's sweat to be in vain. I want to manage the company the way he would want it if he were to be alive. And by the way, I want to really thank you. Thank you very much for the input you've uh, put in while I was away. I want to tell you in a very short while, the body will be lifted up from your shoulder. I really, really appreciate all. Thank you so much. I see. Uh, I've heard what you said. There won't be any problem with that. But you see, I think you need someone to show you the robes, so to speak. Oh yes, of course, I realize. I realize that. Good. Right now, there are so many things needing my attention. I have to attend to them. I don't have the chance right now, but not to worry. I'll get back to you. Yes, I must do something because I will 
never allow anybody to just appear from the way you take over what I'm very much so much to achieve. But after God is found, I want you to get the car ready. We're going out right now, okay? Let me go upstairs and change, right? Okay? Because I'm good. So, madam, please, can you tell us what happened to you at Caprice Hotel? I... I can't. I... Come on. Look, calm your mouth, madam. You don't have to be scared. You see, we just need your statement to help in our investigations. So, we need total cooperation. That's all. I... He'll find me. Who? Oh. And he'll kill me. Please, I, I can't say it. Please. Nobody please. is going to kill you, madam. You are under our protection. But you just have to talk to us. So that whoever did this to you will be stopped before it gets too late. Come on. See, speak up. Look, if you're afraid of anybody, we are promising you police protection, 24 hours police protection. Open no, up, no, come and tell us. What happened? Your last prayer. Because I don't need anything from you. How much do you pay for I will, I will, I will, I will, I will give you double, please. I How much do you pay for give you your last prayer. Take that to hell. Ah. 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 You have two hands up. Come on, Nina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The policeman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My God, we underestimated Tom. Yes, I told you to be careful, but I never knew Tom would go this far. I'm still shocked at the news that Tom could send assassins. Assassins after me. You don't know Tom. Okay, okay, Uncle Ray, tell me, tell me, how did it happen? You know, how did, did the police come right on time, you know, when the assassins were about shooting you? It is God. God, it's just a mere coincidence. The police actually came to arrest Tom. They said from the finding that it was Tom that killed our father. I knew it. I knew it. I, I knew Tom had a hand in Grandpa's death. I knew it. How can he have a hand? How can't he? If he could do this to me, then he, he can equally wipe the whole family because of money. Great. Tom. Money. Tom. Thousand. 
How's it coming out? Hey, Foolish what, man. What's the meaning of all this? Can, can someone tell me what's going on here? Who are these people? Thomas, I warned you. I told you that one day you would meet your Waterloo. What the hell are you blabbing about? Mr. Thomas, you are under arrest for the murder of Chief H.J. Thompson and two counts of attempted murders. What rubbish! Who are you? Who brought you into this compound in the first place? You came into my compound and you insult me? Do you know who I am? Hey, listen, young man. I'll have your job if you don't take your time. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent because whatever you say here will be used no, against you in the you court of law. Arrest him! You are mad. You must be out of your mind. Because I'm not even sure that you went to the police college. Because I know that you have been thought on how to arrest people with evidence. Oh, Thomas! We the earlier you shut your trap, the better for you. David, you're talking to me? I'm talking to you, all right. Listen, Nurse Jojo didn't die. She is, as we speak, at the police station singing like a bird. So what? So what? Thomas. I am disappointed in you. To think that you could take the life of a human being and plot it on taking another one. Oh, shut up! Please! What, what is all this? And call him and no, him away. I want to, I'll talk to my lawyer. And call him and talk to my lawyer. I'll, I'll talk to my lawyer. Shut up. You, David, you. Now move. I said move. You now have both. I said move. You now have both. Move. Both. move. move. I will deal with all of them. I said, shut up. Move. I will talk to my lawyer. I you don't have any evidence. Move. 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 No evidence. It's yours.